Hey gang, Jack Allaire here. I uh, just want to talk about a video game that I played recently uh, called One Night Stand. After watching some other videos about it, I bought One Night Stand on uh, January 13th, 2017, and started playing it just because I loved the art style, but ended up falling in love with the entire game. The game is made by Kinmoku, if I'm saying that right, who's an indie developer who used to work at Chilingo uh, before they got bought out by EA and then still worked at EA for a while there. She did the original during a game jam and then uh, polished it up later on uh, so that she could release it on Steam. And she also has another project that she's working on that's way more ambitious than this one, uh, but let's get back to One Night Stand. Now, full disclosure, I have never had a One Night Stand, so I don't know how accurate this game is. But you play as someone who wakes up next to a naked woman in a strange room and you have no clue how you got there. And it's from this premise that you have to choose how you want to proceed. So the basic options are you can try and bail as fast as possible, just GTFO. Uh, you can try and learn more about her to figure out why she struck your fancy or just whether you can communicate with her now. Uh, or you can try and be a detective and figure out what's happened along the way to get you in her bed. And you can also do some combination of all of those, or none of them. While One Night Stand boils down to a point-and-click visual novel, it's actually got a lot of depth in there. It moves fast enough to keep you wanting to play, and each of the endings is rewarding in its own way. It walks a fine line between being hilarious and downright touching, which I appreciated in the game. Plus, once you manage to unlock all of the endings, you'll actually figure out uh, the whole story behind what happened, which is really cool. While there are moments that are both touching and funny, this has to be one of my favorites. For $3.99 on Steam, I think this game was a delight. I've played it for over two hours now and done multiple runs, and I'm having fun going back and getting all the achievements that I haven't now, and I'm using a guide which is actually on Steam, so once you've been through it, you can actually use that to see what the other endings were. I would recommend that the first time you play through it, you simply go in blind. Don't read anything, just go in and, and play you and see what happens. It's uh, kind of interesting because I did not end up getting uh, uh, a good ending. I mean, it was still good, but it wasn't a nice ending, I guess. From there, if you want to know more, uh, follow the guide and you can go through all the different scenarios. By the time you get all the achievements, you'll have seen everything that this game has to offer. Well, that's it for One Night Stand. It's a short game, so this is a short review. And now for the first time ever, I will be played out by a woman wearing no pants. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on.